Hey friends, welcome back. Welcome back to Law Creations. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial and show you folks how I'm going to try to make some 112 scale uh, accessories. And this one mainly being a manhole cover. And my main my main tool for this was the Cricut Maker. If you saw my last video towards the end, I talked about how my daughter and I went halves on a Cricut Maker. And only to achieve cuts like this and different things along this line. So I'm just going to show you how I, I, I layer this and then I attach it to some... Uh, some dollar store foam board and then trim it down a little bit and then I have myself a uh, a manhole cover and and to be honest with you it probably take 45 minutes if that if I was doing it off camera and I could just concentrate on doing it so I'm going to try to uh I'm going to try to set this up uh, on camera and show you guys what I do so this should peel right off and you can see how a lot of a lot of the pieces come off so let's I had to add a little pressure because this cardstock's stock is pretty thick so we're gonna take out those little pieces here and it's just a matter of going through and and removing the little uh, the little cuts and this is probably the most time-consuming of this whole particular uh, tutorial and I just go through and like I say, for this particular one, you, on the Cricut Maker, you can add pressure so so it pushes hotter into the uh, cuts. So that's what I, I do here. And I'm going to do this for all three. So let me do this off camera, and I'll show you what we got when, uh, when I have them all uh, cut out. All right, welcome back, guys. I, I have them all cut out. So I make three. Because I like to, uh, I like to layer it before I put it on the uh, on the uh, foam board, uh, only to give it more strength and stability. So I'll use some Mod Podge and paint, and uh, just go ahead and layering them, layer them on top. So if you can see how well that cut, and it'll be a nice manhole cover or drain by the time we're all done with it. And it'll be perfect for 112 scale diorama. And it probably only took, uh, I took like two minutes to cut these three pieces. It took me like five minutes to, to trim everything out. And now we're just going to go ahead and glue. And let me add a little Mod Podge here. We'll add it on top of this one. As such, I'm not too concerned about it being overly neat in regards to the glue because I'm only going to double stack it and we're going to try to get it nice and uh, flush and even so that's the idea there guys if you can see how how it's laid up and and the idea is just to get it uh, as lined up as you can so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with uh, with this one We'll paint it, paint it. We'll add some glue to it, and we'll layer it. So that's that's how I go about this particular. At least this is what I've come up with for now that I think works pretty good. And we'll see how we do. So let's see. Let's not stick it to the, glue it to the wrong piece of paper so as you can see it's just a little tedious and my big hands get in the way so so that's close enough it's nice and layered and that's the idea there it gives you that layer effect and we're going to go in after and we're going to uh, actually it's not a uh, not taken very well. Let me see this last one. See if I can undo it. So that one's fine. Bear with me, folks. I hate doing things on camera. All right. 
So that's a lot better. That's lined up a lot better. So what I'm going to do is just hit it with some Mod Podge to give it a little more, a little more stability and endurance. And then we're going to let it dry. And then we're going to come back and uh, we're going to attach it to our foam board. And then I'll show you guys uh, exactly how uh, exactly how I cut it out of the foam and why this dries. Uh, so I don't know about you, but my I've tried to make a manhole cover and different things uh, on my own and just cutting them and my hands not that steady and uh, especially the older I get the shakier I get so to achieve this kind of perfect cut perfect circle I uh, I wouldn't personally be able to achieve myself so yep I hate to admit it but I uh, I, I would never be able to make this by hand. Um, there's, there's tons of diora diorama makers who would be able to. And I'm just not one of them. So the old saying, I get by with a little help from my friends. And and that's uh, that's my story for sure. 95% of my uh, my builds are uh, hand cut. And, and uh, I do myself. But I have no problem adding different things to my people add 3d printers people add you know laser cutters and and uh and what they make is phenomenal i just can't afford that uh 3d printer i don't really you can get a lot nicer builds than that than this particular what i'm doing here i just uh between how long it takes to cut and i mean to uh to print and and this is only this takes a half hour to do and you got yourself a nice uh a nice manhole cover especially after it's all done painted and and good to go so all right let me uh what's next let me get a piece of foam board and uh i'll show you what we do next okay hold on all right folks i'm back i've i've glued i've glued this particular piece to the uh foam board and I'm just letting it dry and then I mean you could come in with this particular knife and just go in and cut those out and use the whole purpose of me using this particular piece is as a stencil but I like to use my my uh hot wire little uh cutter and I just go in and I uh I just go in and I burn out those particular uh sections I, I made a drain, and I don't know if you've seen it on my my Facebook or my Instagram. And I I made the drain using the uh, the Cricut maker, so and I made that in like uh, like a half hour time between start to finish, and that includes the painting. So uh, yeah, so there's definitely potential uh, with the Cricut maker to to make cuts and things that. That if you feel like you can't do it by hand, that you can uh, you can use that particular tool. Uh, I don't really find it any different than using a proxon cutter or anything like that for your uh, for your dioramas. So all right, I just cleaned the tip off of this. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna. I'm just gonna go in and now I thought maybe this is too thick for this, but I think it's gonna be perfect. I might have a problem with these. With these little ones here but we'll see how we do so i'm just going to go in and i'm using the uh i'm using the cut piece as a guide so that's all i'm doing and we're just we're just going in nice and nice and slowly and using the and the and this keeps us in the lines and keeps us having a uh a nice clean cut so this is mostly this particular cutout is just to have a stencil and so you can maintain your perfect cuts so yeah I just wanted to share this video 
I hope everybody's ready for Christmas. I hope everybody uh, is, is, if you celebrate Christmas, I hope you guys have a great one. Uh, I know with 2021 coming up, hopefully it's a, a much better year. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share this particular video with you guys. I know I, I'm kind of ranting here but i want you to see the process and give you an idea of uh of what i do and i'm always looking you know you gotta you gotta be creative with what you do and this way here you can your dioramas can take on a nice realism and and you may you can be proud of it you know even though this cricket maker does the cuts you still have to make this thing you gotta glue everything you got to do your little cuts here. You got to, you know, you got to do your research for sizes, things like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's some, there's some work involved as well. It's just not, it's just not uh, cut it out and you're good to go. You have to implement different uh, techniques, I guess. It still causes your mind to be creative in how you want to go about it. And this is what I've come up with so far. And so far, it's worked uh, really well for me. Uh, so let's see if we can get these little ones here. Yep, we're good. So, perfect. I don't know if, I'm sorry, I'm off camera, guys. This is really hard to do on camera. That's why I don't do a lot of tutorials. Okay, that one's through. And we got one more little one. And that one's through. All right. Let me shut this thing off because it gets very, very hot. Oh, actually, I don't want to shut it off yet, but that gives you an idea of, of how it cuts out. Let me turn it back on, and then we're gonna we're gonna go around and trim the uh, the circle. And uh, I mean, you could do it, you know, by hand, but I just find this so much easier. You know, like I say, I use it as I use this particular piece as a stencil. And it gives me, I should be able to cut a, uh, a perfect circle with it. So that's what I'm doing here. The cardstock is thick enough to where this particular uh, burner doesn't burn it. And let me tell you, it does get hot. So there's that. So let's, let's come over here. Let's come over here and cut this and see how we do. So this is why I love creating. I love implementing different techniques. And I'm not ashamed to tell you guys I would never be able to cut this by hand. So. But I still consider myself an artist and a diorama maker. All right. There it is. Let's take a closer look. We're going to clean it up. We'll sand it. And uh, that'll give you... An idea so you can always come in and just you know this cardstock you can sand we're gonna paint it anyway and you can sand see how nice of a of a cut that gives nice perfect circle you can still sand it round it off a little bit more and then what I like to do is for this particular sander I'll just come in uh, I'll cut a little piece off and we'll use that to uh, Get in between the. Uh... Oop! I dropped it. Sorry about this tutorial being kind of shabby, but I think you guys are getting the idea that you can use the Cricut Maker for sure to make decent accessories. So I'll just come in with this piece here. And we'll uh, we'll sand, and I'll just go through that and sand, clean it up, and you know all this little pieces here will just add texture to the particular piece. And yeah, that's it. I won't waste your time and paint this now, uh, but that gives you an idea of what can be done. So the old saying, I get by with a little help from my friends. And for me, that's the truth. 
um, purchased the Cricut Maker. I think uh, it cost me $150. And uh, like I say, my daughter and I went halves and we got different mats and different things. And and yeah, it's uh, it's come in handy. I've made a few things with it. I've cut a few things. I, I just did this one. I've done, uh, what else have I done? I've done another drain. And I did some Star Wars panels on my last sci-fi diorama. I was able to make those with uh, on heavy chipboard, actually, which was nice and sturdy. But that particular process took uh, took uh, at probably four hours to cut because it had to uh, do so many passes. So that's the reason why, and because of the size. So that's it, folks. That's it. And I'll come... I'll probably come in later and just trim this down a little bit so it's not as thick. But if you use it in your dial, you can just do a circle and then just, you know, dig it out a little and, and put this piece flush. So, uh, yeah, so that's how I created this. And uh, just wanted to share it with you guys. So if if your daughters or, or your wife has a Cricut maker at home, uh, eyeball it and uh, give it a go. And maybe I'll I'll paint this. Uh, maybe I'll make a separate video and paint this. Okay, guys. I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful. Ask ask away any questions. Please like. Please subscribe. I'll be doing more of these uh, videos so you guys can uh, can implement. You know, if implement different ways to uh, make some accessories for yourselves. Okay. Take care, folks. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your evening, whatever it may be. Uh, and have a good one.